The 28th annual Cactus Classic, uh, one of the biggest classes here was four-wheel drive modified. And uh, Ryan Mayfield, one of the locals here, taking home the win. That's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, it was. Uh, it did feel good. It was, it was kind of a rough weekend, honestly, with the four-wheel drive. Um, qualified fourth, which uh, normally when you're fourth with uh, the guys that are starting ahead of me, you don't really, you know, you think you got a shot, but realistically most of the time you don't. Um, but, you know, it was nice. The, the mains treated me uh, halfway decent, uh, the first and third mains. Uh, my car was pretty good today, uh, a lot better than it was yesterday. I think a little bit more sugar on the track actually suited my car and my driving style a little bit better. And uh, it was it was nice to get a win, especially here at the last, uh, well, potentially the last race at this facility. It's been my home track for o over 20 years now, and uh, it's sad to see it go, but it was nice to get a victory for the last race. And you started fourth, uh, but got the, the win in A-Main number one just being there at the right place at the right time and having the lap times to do it. Um, but then the second main didn't go very well. You were leading early on and then uh, had some problems running into that. So how tough was it to regroup and get back into main number three, knowing that you still had a chance to win it? Um, it was, it, you know, you just kind of go in with an open mind. You know, you, when you're starting fourth, <clears throat> you know, like I said before, you don't really go shooting for the, the win right away. You just kind of go for the best you can. And in the first race, um, Dakota made a small bobble. He was in front of me uh, on the first lap. I got by him, and then I was behind Jorn Newman, um, and he had a, a issue a couple laps later, and I was leading, and I just kind of managed, uh, you know, out front, just managed my pace, didn't make a mistake, and got the win there. And then uh, the second main, I got lucky again. Uh, the, both those guys had mistakes early on. Me and Jared had a battle. I got around Jared. Um, it was a little bit of a not so nice of a pass on my part, but uh, then Karma got me back later because I just made a really bad driving error and went back to like fifth place, and that was where I finished. So, um, and then the third main, it was once again I just went in open-minded, hopefully hoping hoping something happened uh, in my favor, and it did. Uh, me and Ty were going for the win, um, and uh, he made a small bobble. I got around him and just managed to stay in front of him for the rest of the race and and took the overall. And Jordan Newman was the top qualifier. He ran into some bad luck as well. Um, but, you know, he did get out front in the third main and kind of checked out a little bit. Did you know going into that race that you didn't have to win that race to win the overall? Uh, I didn't really know, but I had a good idea. And uh, I just, once I got uh, in front of Ty, I knew what to do and just uh, kept my kept focused. And um, it, it, like I said, it, it's you never know when you're starting fourth, but um, I just uh, kept my, my nose down and just kept pushing. And um, I got behind a couple times and, and just, uh, you know, never gave up and just kept going and I was so surprised my car was really really good today and uh, it worked out it worked out really well and I'm happy to get a win for all my companies any, oh well speaking then uh, any sponsors and people you want to thank uh, obviously team associated J concepts um, without them and you know they're at these events uh, with me at every weekend and, and without their support I wouldn't be able to do what I do including airtronics um, upgrade RC and, and a lot of other people that I can't really coming to mind right now and Jason Ron is here at every race he's helping me with my tire prep being my tire advisor telling me hey the tracks this hot you should run this or what do you think blah blah, blah. Um, all the guys at team associated watching all of our cars you know without their their eyes on the cars telling us hey it looks a little funny here and there and, and then they work with us on the setup we wouldn't be able to do what we do so um, thank them and uh, thank my family for coming out for the local support and uh, yeah, this is always a fun race and I'm glad to, to end it with a, a victory and uh, what do you think about this race moving across town next year, going to an indoor facility? It would be nice to get a, a win the first time it's there as well. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna. it might take a little bit away from the vibe and the, you know, the kind of the charisma this race does have because the, a lot of people love to come to this event because of the weather. I mean, the weather is beautiful here. Um, a lot of people that are here from you know, Canada and, and back east and the Midwest where the weather isn't awesome. Um, 
so I, I think it's it's going to be good for the year, you know, the year-long um, business. Um, but for the race, it might, I hope it doesn't take it away. I hope the facility is really cool and, it, and people come to it. Um, but it, it's sad to see it move to an indoor facility, I think, because this is one of our last few huge off-road races outdoors for electric. Um, but I, I will see. Maybe someday it'll be back outdoors again. But uh, I'm curious to see what happens next year. Congratulations and thank you. Thanks.